All right, everybody, happy Wednesday. Um, today we're going to go ahead and move on to the second part of that research project. Um, we've already taken a look at a real world entrepreneur um, and you've done some research to fill up that left side of your lined paper on things about what characteristics define them, what was their idea, how have they made themselves successful, etc. So today we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to part two. So I'm going to go ahead and skip through a couple slides here that we've already went through. And we're going to talk about what is due by Thursday of this week. So we've looked at a real world entrepreneur. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work on that right side of our lines paper today. And we're going to think about, since we are doing a Shark Tank project, looking into a Shark Tank entrepreneur. Um, and I think this is kind of the fun part of the week. So we can analyze what has made them successful and their challenges. So the first thing that you're going to do on the next slide, we'll look at some options, but you're going to choose an entrepreneur from the list of some successful Shark Tank businesses. I have a whole list to choose from. If you don't like the ones on my list, you're welcome to go ahead and choose one of your own. After you choose a business, you're going to research that business. So you might not be doing so much research into the individual like we did with the initial part of the week, um, but you're going to definitely look into that business. The websites you use, I would look into that product website. I would even watch the Shark Tank pitch that they made on YouTube and any YouTube videos that were created to kind of follow their progress because that'll be really helpful in answering some of your questions. You're going to use the same setup on your paper that you had for the first part of your assignment. Um, just know that you're going to have to potentially do a little bit more digging on these questions. So definitely rely on those YouTube videos as you are working through these questions. So some businesses that you can choose from as you are thinking about what um, you're going to do for the right side of your lined paper this week. I'm going to use Scrub Daddy for my business that I'm going to walk through, um, but you also have a whole list of other businesses that have been really successful that initially started on Shark Tank. Um, if you've never seen Shark Tank before, I encourage you also in these next couple days to go ahead and take a look at, oops. Sorry, y'all, my dog got a, got a little hold of my computer there. Um, we're gonna, I encourage you to go ahead and take a look at some Shark Tank video clips on YouTube. Shark Tank as a concept is based on the idea of young and new entrepreneurs, people who have products, who have business ideas, um, who are looking for funding. So they essentially need money in order to get their businesses started and rolling. So these companies all appeared on this TV show they pitched their ideas to a panel of millionaires, people who have lots and lots of money and invest that money in other businesses to make more money for themselves. Um, and these were all businesses that got money from the sharks and then proceeded to be successful. So choose one of these businesses and use that to roll with for the next couple of days. You're gonna set up the other side of your lined paper the exact same way that you have been operating with the last couple days. So we're just gonna finish up that page with the Shark Tank Entrepreneur on the right side. Um, the name, you're gonna to have to do some digging. I don't want the name of the business, I want the name of the entrepreneur. So make sure you don't just write Scrub Daddy as your business here. I want you to tell me the name of the individual who appeared on Shark Tank, and then you can go ahead under contribution and write what their idea is. The questions are exactly the same. Um, this piece, so your entire page should be done by Thursday of this week. And we'll talk about what it looks like to actually do that submission in just a minute. Let's talk about how we're gonna find some of those answers to our questions though, before we go any further. So what I did just to start off was a really simple Google search, and I'm gonna just show you some things that I would kind of process through as I'm going through and doing my own research. So if we see, obviously we're gonna have the product for sale on the top, um, but I see that the website exists. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off by doing a little bit of digging into the website itself. Um, we obviously have some advertisements. Um, I see that I have, um, lots of different products available. I'm going to scroll down to see like what the product actually does. Um, and I see that we have some contact information. Um, I have on the very bottom, I see an about us, and that's what's going to be the most helpful for me because I'm thinking about the business side itself and not just the product. 
Um, but I'm going to look through their history. This website has a whole timeline. Um, I see the name of my entrepreneur. I see that I might find some information in this paragraph about his inspiration and kind of that niche, that market, that need or gap that he was trying to fill. Um, I can walk through and find kind of the whole process that this company went through. And I'm not going to do a whole lot of digging um, because if you decide to use this one, I want to make sure that you have the opportunity to do so. Um, we see the Shark Tank process is outlined here. This website does a really great job of kind of walking through um, the success of the company and kind of what's going on with their with their progress so far. Um, we see some expansion, um, so we could use that to think about how is the company doing so far today. Um, we can go ahead and use some of this information, this fish waffle and mud ball, to think about what they're doing to change their company. So this website's kind of a gold mine. If you're not able to find such a great website, Another option or another way to think about your searches is to rely on um, some information from YouTube. So I see some little clips here from the actual pitch itself. So I might take a look at this video. I might take a look at um, the Scrub Daddy meeting beyond the tank because I see that it's actually um, Aaron, the inventor, and the shark who has kind of made everything possible. I see some honest reviews. There might be some good things to look at in terms of the comments um, about the use of the product and whether people think it's effective or not. Um, I see it's available for sale on Amazon. So I think that says something also about the success of the product. And then I see Wikipedia that I totally want to avoid. So when we're thinking about um, how to do this research, Definitely rely on a couple different websites, do some digging. I'm happy to help you through that process and making sure that you feel like you have all the answers that you need and you can find all the pieces so that you can get this taken care of. Like I said, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm happy to answer those questions for you. Otherwise, happy digging, enjoy, watch some different Shark Tank videos. I think they're really cool, especially when it comes down to the banter that goes back and forth between the sharks. So this is the time to do some exploring, have fun with it, and reach out if you need anything or have any questions. Have a good day, everybody.